guys, what's up? It's Sarah. Welcome back to my channel and happy new year. I can't believe this is gonna be my first video of 2022. I'm so excited because one of my biggest goals for 2022 is to really up my YouTube game. I wanna post more consistently, post really good content. So definitely subscribe and click the notification bell if you haven't yet, it's gonna be a good time. So yeah, I don't remember if I mentioned this in my last video. At the end of 2021, I moved into an apartment with my boyfriend. So that is where I'm sitting. I know this background probably doesn't look familiar and that's why I'm in the new apartment. So I'm very excited because this is gonna open a lot of doors for new content that I can post. So yeah, I think it's just gonna be good for my channel to switch it up a little bit and post some different kinds of videos. So that's what we're starting with today. If any of you do live in an apartment, you know that the rules are kind of strict with like what you can do to the place. You can't just like paint and put nails in the wall without consequences, you know? So that being said, I've been learning a lot of tips for how to decorate and organize without damaging anything. So I'm gonna share it with you guys because I think it would be super helpful. It doesn't even have to be an apartment. If you live in a house that you own and you just don't feel like damaging the walls all the time, this video is for you too. So let's just get into it. I'm gonna show you my damage-free decorating and organizing hacks. Okay, so first I'm gonna talk about Command products. The reason I'm not saying Command strips is because they have a lot of other products that I think people don't realize and they're so helpful. So let me show you what command products I have used that have been really great so far. Okay, so first we have command hooks. As you can see, it's just a little black hook, but it has held my stocking up this entire time with no problems. I also use this kind of command hook for the Christmas lights around our window. I like this one because the hook moves up and down. Okay, now for these guys. These are just the regular command strips. They're used for like picture frames and stuff like that, um, but I've used them for other things and so far they've been successful. First is this mail and key holder. So this is being held up by four command strips and I have a lot of papers in here. I don't know if you can tell. Plus keys. And this thing is not budging. I'm telling you, this has been up since we moved in here pretty much. It's not going anywhere. It's super sturdy. So you can definitely use it for things that are thicker than picture frames, even though it says not to. <laughs> this is being held up by command strips. This is being held up by command strip. There is, I think, two command strips behind here, and then I used a command hook for the rope, even though it's not relying on the hook at all. Like, I think the command strips were put on first, and this is really what's holding it up. But again, hasn't budged at all. This is being held up by command strips. This is being held up by command strips. Yes, I have this sign in our bathroom. Don't judge me. These next two command products are my absolute favorite, and I think everybody needs to get them, so let me show you. This is a Command brand product. I got it off of Amazon. Um, right now I just have like our toothpaste and some Advil in there to get it off of the counter here. It could definitely hold more, like so sturdy. This can be removed, so if you want, you can just put like stuff in it like that if you don't want the white thing. Super easy to put on the wall. And that's it. And when you're done, it should just come off. It shouldn't damage the wall at all. And I think it looks nice. I like the white with the silver, you know, and it's pretty wide. It's a big container, honestly. On to the next one. These. These shelves are command shelves. I also got these off of Amazon. Don't mind the picture frames because I haven't put pictures in them yet. <laughs> but how nice are these? They're just black, chic. I love them. Um, I mean you can see they hold a decent amount of stuff. I think this small one came in a two pack and then these are sold individually I believe. I'll link everything in the description box below so you guys can buy it if you want. But this wall was super bare before and those shelves just like really made a difference. So I'm gonna buy some more for the bedroom to put my perfumes on I think. So next I'm gonna be talking about how you can make your apartment smell nice without burning down the entire building. <laughs> No, I'm kidding. But since there's other people living in this complex, like you just wanna be super careful that you don't cause any fire hazards or anything. I always make sure that I cut my wicks before I light my candles because otherwise they'll burn all funny and they'll burn really high, so get a candle wick cutter. This thing is really great. Also, they have an electric lighter. I don't have it yet, I wanna order it. But it's not an actual like flame lighter, it's, it's electric, so you can just use it over and over and over and over. 
and it just lights the candle. It's the coolest thing ever. I'm, I'm gonna buy one. I'll link it below anyway so you guys can see what I'm talking about. <laughs> if you're worried about using a candle and you don't want an open flame, I definitely recommend getting a wax warmer. This is a Scentsy wax warmer and I like it because it says if you like accidentally leave it on when you leave the apartment, it's not a big deal. The light underneath is not warm enough where it would be a fire hazard. Also, it's just very vibey. They have a lot of different options for the style of warmer you can choose and they have a million different scents. I definitely recommend getting a wax warmer. And it works. It smells pretty much just like a candle. All right, now we're gonna move on to storage. So this is really important because a lot of apartments are small, so you really have to like figure out how to store everything in a smart way. So let me show you what I came up with. Ignore the mess, but I got a bin for each holiday. So far, it's only been Halloween and Christmas that we've been here but I'm storing all of our decorations in each of these bins. So if we ever move or need to get into these, it's really easy. Um, they're not expensive. I got them at Target, I believe. And yeah, just super simple. Okay, next is this bathroom rack. So we got this at, at home. The baskets didn't come with it. We bought those separate. But this has been great because the only storage we have in this bathroom is underneath the sink. That's literally it. So, we got these shelves and we got these baskets, which they had in all different sizes. And we're storing our towels down there, our like beauty products here, and then extra toilet paper here. And then you still have room for decor on the sides. So this has been really helpful. Like I'm all for baskets and bins. Give me all the baskets and bins. The only thing I will say is that since these are like bumpy basket material, the bottles kept falling over so I bought these clear bins I don't know if you can see I got a three pack of these clear bins from home goods and they happen to just fit perfectly in here and now everything stands up and it makes me so happy but there was a third bin that I had left over so I used it for some of my eyeshadow palettes so that worked out really well now for makeup you need makeup organizers like this container has saved my life. Also, this container has saved my life. You can fit so much in here and it just makes it so much more organized. Like, oh, you guys. All my lip glosses, yes. It holds so much makeup. Look at that. And this one's for my hair ties, my bobby pins, clips, stuff like that. You can get these at like Home Goods, TJ Maxx, Marshalls. This, I don't know, my mom gifted this for me, so I don't know where she got it. But you can probably get it on like Amazon or something. While I'm over here, I might as well mention, um, if you can get like a cute container to put your spare change, that would be really helpful so you don't have coins laying around everywhere. And also a jewelry holder. This actually came in my FabFitFun box, but it's stackable. So it doesn't take up too much space and you can hold like a decent amount of jewelry in it. All right, so now let's go in the closet because I have a few more things in here. We love bins, I'm all about the bins. These are my leggings, these are some other pants and I forget what this is, but Ikea. I got those all at Ikea and I got this bin at Target which just has some like old Halloween costumes and stuff in there. Also, highly recommend getting a shoe rack. You can fit a lot of shoes on there, so it's a really big space saver. I also just wanna mention, definitely get velvet hangers. You guys, like, look at how many hangers I can fit close together. It really does, like, condense your clothes, plus it looks so much more organized. Like, they're amazing and your clothes don't slip off. I will link those below as well. I got those from Amazon. I feel like these hangers are so bulky. Like, I don't know. These are just slim. I like them. The last thing I wanted to mention is more of like a decor space saving hack, but it's been really helpful for me. If you have a lot of pillows on your couch and you don't like them and you want like holiday pillows or you want to change the design, instead of buying another set of pillows and having to store the original pillow somewhere, just buy pillow covers. Go on Amazon, they have so many different types of pillow covers for like every holiday, it's amazing. I'll show you my Christmas ones. Our original pillows were like this kind of design, but I got these pillow covers. They slip right over. There was a whole set. And then when you're done, you just take them off and storing the pillow covers is way easier than storing a full pillow. So I'll just use them again next year and it's been super helpful. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any other tips and tricks that I didn't mention, please let me know in the comments because I'm all ears. <laughs> Stay tuned for more content and hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so yet. Thank you guys again for watching. I hope you have a happy new year. Let's just hope 2022 is a good year and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.